After weeks of tensions and violent clashes in East Jerusalem, the Israel-Palestine conflict escalated into something deadly, airstrikes from both the side left hundreds injured and scores of people dead. Hamas, the militant group controlling Palestine since 2007, started the fire by blasting hundreds of rockets into Israel, killing and injuring many Israelis. In the retaliatory attack by Israel, 67 people were killed, including 17 children in Gaza, according to news agency AFP. The simmering tensions escalated this time due to Israelis celebrating Jerusalem Day. The evacuation of Palestinians from certain locations of the city further fueled the tensions, resulting in an all-out war. The simmering tensions escalated this time due to Israelis celebrating Jerusalem Day. The evacuation of Palestinians from certain locations of the city further fueled the tensions, resulting in an all-out war. But even as innocent citizens continue to suffer in the deadly attacks, Israel has Iron Dome, an air defense system that protects the country's densely populated areas. So, how does it work? Let's find out. Israel's Iron Dome is an all-weather, mobile air defense system developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The dome has been protecting Israel since 2011. In the Israel-Lebanon War of 2006, Hezbollah controlled Lebanon fired thousands of rockets into Israel. In 2007, Israel announced that state-run Rafael Advanced Systems will build a new air defense system to protect its cities and people and in 2011, the Iron Dome was deployed. Rafael has been claiming it enjoys a success rate of over 90 percent, with more than 2,000 interceptions though experts believe it to be at 80. The Iron Dome is a short-range ground-to-air, air defense system that includes radar and Tamer interceptor missiles that track and neutralizes any rockets or missiles aimed at Israeli targets. Not only does it block rockets or missiles, but it also neutralizes artillery and mortars as well as aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Iron Dome has proven to be effective in all weather conditions irrespective of the time of day or night, as its three main systems provide a shield over the area where it is deployed. It is capable of handling multiple threats at the same time and has detection and tracking radar to spot any incoming threats. The Iron Dome has been designed to stop short-range rockets and artillery using its systems, known as David Sling and Arrow and are designed for medium and long-range threats, including planes, drones, rockets and missiles using its radar and its own interpretation of whether the incoming rocket is a threat. After detecting the threat, the system starts firing its interceptor to block and detonate the rocket. Another factor that is considered is if the incoming rocket has the potential risk of hitting populated areas or vital infrastructure of Israel. After detecting the threat, the system starts firing its interceptor to block and detonate the rocket. Another factor that is considered is if the incoming rocket has the potential risk of hitting populated areas or vital infrastructure of Israel. Built with financial aid from the US, one unit of Iron Dome is priced at over $50 million. 
The cost to build one interceptor Tamir missile is around $80,000 whereas, a rocket costs $1,000 only. Though the costs are high, it is a small price to pay for a nation to protect itself, boost the morale of its citizens and not be cowed down by external forces intending to harm.